hostile cone shell, one of the most deadly animals on the planet. We're on the other side of the beach where all the, uh, all the... Joking. I think we might have one of the live textile cones that we saw ages ago. Oh, I don't know if I want to grab it. I don't know if it's live or not. Uh, I don't have any tongs in my bag, but I can grab it from the top of its shell. Oh yeah, that's live. That's very live. That's actually the same one from ages ago, for sure. Along with Mr. Sea Urchin way back there. That's incredible. So this right here, guys, this shell here is one of the most deadly animals on the planet. You have to be extremely careful. So the harpoon is at the end of its shell. We're going to put him right there. The harpoon is at the end here. And you can only get stung if you touch the end there. And it uh, stings you. So. You don't want to be messing around with them, but I've known these guys for years and years and years. I've handled them for years and years and years safely. I know all the precautions to take. I know all about them, so I feel pretty confident in being around them. Just being smart around them, of course. So yeah, that is a live textile cone shell. One of the most deadly animals on the planet. It's great to see these guys every now and then. That's just an incredible shell. But yeah, you have to be extremely careful. I would not, uh, I wouldn't handle these guys if I were you. But as I said, I, I'm pretty confident around them. And yeah, that's it there. That's pretty incredible. We have a Hebrew cone here, but I'm gonna say it's live. Maybe, actually, never mind. I am completely wrong. Nice. It's a bit of a clean up, but it's all right. Guys, look at this thing. That's some sort of strombus for sure. But what is it? Come on. Oh my goodness. Holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. Look at that thing. That is dead pink up the top. Wow. So what was happening? I was just walking all along there, not finding anything because so many people have probably been on the side. And then we stumble across this. It must have just washed in over the last couple of minutes. Brett's been here twice, I believe. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. That's obviously a strombus, but what kind of strombus? We do get the common strombus looking ones, but never anything like this. That's just incredible. Wow. That is incredible, you guys. I am super, super stoked on today's vines. We might even make it a part two. I got no idea, it's just such a long video already. Strap yourself in for some more awesome finds. I think we're gonna find some more. It's just so low today, it's beautiful. Super clear, crystal clear almost. Awesome, that's going straight into the bag. Nice and safe. Woo! Yeah, we got a hairy triton down here camera on the wall. Joking. How good's that? What do you think? What's his name again? What's his name again? Bo, Bo look. Bo. What's that? Hey. You know what that is? Hairy Triton. Hairy Triton, that's it. Awesome, eh? And it's a ripper. Look at the lovely... Have you found one before? Uh, yeah, not one so big, only two bottles, but I've got a little one in here. I don't think this is quite Nice, that was a nice one, eh? Yeah. Have you ever taken that off? Uh, sometimes, out? yeah. Mm. Um, I've got one that I've taken the stuff off, mm. but uh, you'll have to let me know if you oh, take it off or not. That's alright. Oh There's a beauty, isn't it? Wow. Yes. It's got a lot of, you see all the black colour there? It's got the same sort of colours all around the shell, like on these parts yes. here and on the inside. So and the easiest way to get it off is just bleach. It looks really, really nice. I love but. the smell of seashells too. <laughs> the minute you come over that rice, you can smell it. Yeah, it's a beauty, eh? And when I come home and empty my shell bag, I, just, I bring the ocean with me and it smells That's just divine. Yeah, very nice. Awesome. Clean that up Thank and um, yeah, shoot me a photo if you clean it up, eh? 
I'd love to see the underneath. That's cool. That's alright, mate. Alrighty, I might head over to the other side in a minute, guys. What do you reckon? Might take a better look around here. But that Harry Triton was a beauty. What do we got over here? Anything? Yeah, I can put the camera underwater now. I've got a case for it. Not much here. Lots of red coral. These are the red bits that um, I saw somebody comment about uh, the red bits. And they're actually little coral pieces. What's that there? A little triton or something? Yeah, a little triton. It's too beaten for me though. Another ton piece. See what else we can find. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. This hurts to see. Wow. Oh my goodness. FPV drone. Wow. So this is like one of those really fast drones that you guys may see on TikTok where the person who is flying it puts the goggles on and then they can see everything through the drone and they fly super fast. These are very expensive. Got a big wave coming. I'll be quick. There's a bonnet shell. Ah, it's got a bunch of brakes. That is crazy to find. Definitely one of my strangest finds ever. But dang, does it hurt to see. Looks like it's lost its battery or something through the middle there. Wow. Was oh, that an Arabian? Nope, just Arabian teeth. Dang, that's crazy. These things are so expensive, so fast. I'm definitely gonna keep it. It's definitely one of my coolest finds ever. That's not a shell. As you can see there, it's got the camera there on its gimbal. Wow. Alrighty guys, let's see what other shells and pieces we can find. Look at him, he's out now. Check that out. Juvenile live Arabian cowrie. That's just incredible. Look at him move. How cool is that to see? I've never seen one before live. Wow. Super interesting. I think we have a really nice looking bonnet down under there. You guys can see that. Coral plate. Uh, I think I'll keep that actually. Just need to leave that in some bleach. Alrighty, let's check out that bonnet. It looks promising. Oh, perfect. Did you look at that? That has been there for a while. You can always tell when a shell has been buried for a while because it'll have black dirt in it, black sand. That's so satisfying to watch. That's just beautiful. 10 out of 10 right there. Apart from that green stuff. Spectacular. Can't forget my little, uh, what is it? Coral plate. That's a really nice find right there, you guys. Definitely subscribe for that find. That was sweet. Anything in here? Straight into the bag. Come back for that later. A little treasure pile. love big bonnet finds like that. You pull them out of the water and they're just spectacular condition. So cowrie. Looks like common cowrie but I'll show you guys. There are so many of these here. There is a crown cone. It's alright condition. Definitely seen much better. But I'll take it. Nice. Do we have? There's one. Sweet. Oh, let's look. At you. Oh, we can. Wow. Wow, more piles. I want to find a shuttle. A Vula. Let's focus on this little area. Pause the video whenever you want.
can't sit at one spot for too long. Cool. It's two there. I'll show you guys at the end when the wave comes back. Where's the beans? Waves coming. I can hear it. So we got oh there's a mitra. Got a black mitra there. Pretty unique. Nice. So there's one. And two more turbos. Finally a big boy uh, bonnet. Hopefully anyway, the ocean's been lying. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, what is that? That's a volute. I've found one of them, yeah. Guys, I've only ever found one of these as well. What? I swear I was just going to pick that up and I look underneath and I'm like, what? You guys caught that all on film. These guys are rare too. I've only found one of these. One. Ever. That's sick. That is wonderful. Now let's see if this guy's whole. Thank you so much for leading me to him. You are a legend. Awesome. Check that out. A volo, not sure on its proper name. Uh, and a bonnet. Sweet as. Today has got me stoked. What a joke. It's been a tremendous day. Tremendous is a good thing, right? That's a good word meaning, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's sweet. That was so much fun. Thought it might have been a, a villa piece, but that's alright. Oh, this is a pretty good day guys, drop a like. Awesome. I think that's a uh, wandering cowrie. And it's empty. I'm pretty positive it is. If it is, man, it's beautiful. Look how blue that top is. It's definitely very fresh because it's still a tiny bit slimy. When they're alive, they're super like slimy all on top. It's awesome. Don't usually find those ones much. Is that that cone that I found yesterday? Don't think so. Oh, that's a juvenile uh, fighting conch. A horse conch sort of thing. Whoa, look at that one there. Oh man, they're always broken. I rarely ever find these, but when I do, they're always broken. I'm definitely gonna keep those two just because they're both like sort of hard to find. And they're different. Pretty cool. Snail here. Oh, it's got another moon snail inside of it. Wow, how cool is that? You can see the end of it there. That's so rad. Pretty unique colors, too. Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. I can't believe it. My <laughs> first shell of the day is gonna be right here a giant hairy triton. I've actually never seen one along this little area. So that's pretty cool. That's a good indicator that some new shells have been washed up. Especially him, he is far from the water. That's a really cool color. Well, that's a first to see here. Probably not gonna be able to stick him back on there, but I can leave him up there so he can walk his way down. That's pretty cool. I haven't found a big, empty, hairy triton in quite a while. So it'd be nice to find one of those. What's that? Look at that moon snail. I hope that's whole. Ah, it's really damaged. But these are actually pretty hard to find as well. So I think I'm going to keep that. What do you guys think we'll find today? What do you think the best shell is going to be? Is that an erosa? That is an erosa, but it's crazy old. It's got a really nice pattern though, actually. I'll keep it. I think it's interesting. 
anything in here. I haven't found much in here in ages. Piles just haven't been accumulating. So I'm just driving to the beach right now and somebody here has found a Nautilus piece over on the other side of the beach where all the, uh, all the sort of beachy roughed up grid is. That's incredible on the sand, eh? That's incredible. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. That is awesome. Never seen one found here. That's a wicked. Back with another segment, you guys, sadly, of Sea Hair Rescues. This guy is very, very far from the water. Let's find him a nice, safe spot. You guys watch how fast he comes back to life. Would you look at that? Straight back open. Straight back healthy. What a legend. How cool is that to see? Well, catch you later, buddy. That's so awesome. I think Joel's found something pretty good. Let's go check out what he's found. Look at all those fish in there. That's incredible. Man, I love this reef so much. It is just so, oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at all of it. There's so much live coral here. Living, growing, healthy coral. Oh, it's just awesome. I love this place. I love it. Like, look at that massive piece of coral. That is living. That is so cool. On it down here, we're about 50 meters from where we last were. Was, were, I don't know, but look at that. Orange and blue bonnet. That is so cool. I love that. That is for sure going in my shell room. Sorry guys, but that's mine. <laughs> Super unique. I love the unique stuff, the freak stuff, big stuff, it's just awesome. another bonnet looks pretty bashed up in color might have to move this just a tad uh, maybe dang I'm gonna try and move it if I can get my hand under it oh another bonnet get out from there and it's good Really nice, actually. A lot better than I expected. It's got a tiny hole on the inside there. Well, that's really nice. I do want to try to get that one out, though. Okay. Urgh. I think I got it. Got it. Ah, oh, it's missing the top. I don't think I'll take that. My bag's pretty full. I'll leave it with someone else. Front here. 0.1 meter, meters today. Tide height, super, super low. Is that a bonnet? That is a buried bonnet. And, oh man, massively broken. It's a shame. Jerica. Let's check it out. Oh, one. Found a really good one yesterday. Real gem oh, condition wow. one. That's a big one. That's so nice. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. How big? All but holes. Probably as big as my hand. Yeah. When I pulled it out, I reached under the rope. When I pulled it out, it's upside down. That whole big hole. Oh, the always, dude. <laughs> always. get to the shelling the first shell find of the day it's gonna be something cool we have a grape cowrie nice 
that's a big one too. Lost quite a lot of its colour, but it's a, it's a big size, so that makes up for it, I guess. Gonna be doing some micro shelling most of today. We've got rain again coming all week, so we work with what, we're, what we can do, I guess. A little bit of coral, a really old, um, what is it, stolita, but we'll leave that there. Same with that one. I'm mainly looking for some more sand dollars and grape cowries and bean cowries today, I reckon. That's what I want to find today. Hopefully, maybe even a carrier shell. Honestly, I'd love to find another carrier shell. Surely there'd be one, at least one, in these piles here. Looks like there's more to these piles overnight. As you can see, they are just everywhere. Wow, look at this. This looks so, like, satisfying. Just mountains of grit. Look at that. Is that cool or what? 